Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew is here from m and Forex Traders. I hope you're doing great. I'm here again with another beautiful forecast on GBP USD, stop loss of 9 pips and a target of 350 pips, making it a 1 to 40 risk to reward ratio potential trade. This can be that trade that makes your year literally. All right, so make sure you watch the rest of the video so that you find out what I'm looking for and everything else. All right, so watch the rest of the video. Great. So, like always, let's start by doing a top-down analysis of what is happening on GU right here. So, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go to the higher time frame. So, let's go to the daily time frame since we're looking at this on the four-hour time frame. So, on the daily time frame, you can see that right here, the market has been pushing continuously to the upside since September of 2022. We've seen GU pushing to the upside. So when I came to this level right here, you can see that there was something interesting that was happening. We had a bullish to the downside and then push it to push the upside right here. So we have a drop base and a rally. And interestingly enough, we had big candles that were uh, being developed right here. On top of that, we were left with equal lows which were left behind. And you guys know about these things by now, right? So whenever we have equal highs and guess what's going to happen the market is likely to take that out okay so what we are anticipating is that the market could take out the agency the 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 lows and also the highs or the low of the asian session actually this trade if it happened yesterday in the morning i'd have taken it however this trade developed like this in the evenings yesterday and i was unable to take it because i have a particular time that i like to trade to take my trades on right so now let's go to the four hour time frame since we understand the overall direction of the market so when i saw that so i had to start dropping to the downside and i saw this beautiful uh equal lows which are left right here so guess what the market came and actually took them out right we had cpi news yesterday which came and cleared the liquidity right here beautiful however i wasn't able to enter this trade from here even though it came to my put out uh, to my to my to my area where i was looking at right so here is my thing i always want to make sure that i take trades in the morning i don't like taking trades late in the day so what i did that i went to the lower time frame to find my order block so let's go to the 15 minutes time frame and see if we can find our order block there okay so i went to the lower time frame and uh let's see what's going to happen there you can see let's zoom in just right here let's see what's happening there you can see this is the candle that i got this is the low and the high of this particular candle that's the candle that i got as my order block so right now i'm just waiting for the market to come and retest this level right so let me show you what is happening here so this liquidity that we have right now i told you it was taken out however we have a new liquidity which is being created right now which is the asian asian session so you can see that the market nicely tapped into my zone however i wasn't i wasn't ready to enter into this particular trade because i always want to wait for the morning session especially doing london session right so what i'm what my anticipation right now is that the market is going to come and potentially retest this level right here before I can get involved by retesting this level, the market would have taken out the low of the Asian session, giving me an opportunity to enter from here. So I'm just going to be waiting for the market to pull back into this area after taking out the either the low and the high of the Asian session. Then we can potentially sit at the upside. And you can see right now the market is already facing some resistance at this level right here. So we hope that the market can pull back into this area and continue to go to the upside. However, if this market doesn't doesn't pull back to that level it'll be sad because uh, it beautifully came into my zone but i wasn't able to take this opportunity because of timing and that's what i do 
so this is a beautiful trade and you can see that after we had a nice drop base rally we saw the market continuously breaking structure the upside and then it came back and created more liquidity which was acting as a magnet putting price back into this area and it did guess what and the market is now trying to push the upside so if we don't get that pullback i was I'm, I'm not going to be able to actually take this particular trade and it would have been left out just like that however that's what i wanted to show you guys all right so I, like i always tell you guys make sure you pay particular attention and everything and you can remember these focus have been shared in our private community right here so we have uh, shared this particular focus right here and we share this on a daily basis and after we've shared this in our mentorship community we wait for the market now to come to a particular levels so that we are able to take advantage right if you remember i did a focus on euro card uh the day before on the 9th like two days ago i have posted this on facebook and everywhere and now let me show you what is happening let me just show you the for how the forecast was this was our forecast right here where is it here we had a, our focus on euro card right here waiting for the market to come to this level right here and guess what and the market was approaching right here we waited and guess what the market came to this level right here guess what we took the trade right here seven pip stop loss and 212 pips target guess what happened what's happening right now let me just show you because i'm going to make a completely separate video for this let me just show you what is happening right now the market is beautifully pushing in our direction beautifully you can see that the market is already about one to nine risk reward ratio it actually that it had actually gone all the way to one to about 13 risk reward ratio but we are still holding all the way to this particular level right here this is our main target so we just can't keep holding this particular trade because it has a potential of giving us the potential one to 30 that we, we forecasted right and i was able to take also this particular trade right here, as you can see beautiful and the market is still running the entry was sick and this trade right now is running about one thousand three hundred dollars in profit that's beautiful i'm going to make a separate video on this one so yeah i just want to show you guys that our focus do work our strategy does work so make sure that you check the first link in the description if you want to learn how to do this on your own and that's our goal to be able to create independent traders who are able to trade on their own all right so make sure you check that out all right so if you found value from this video make sure you subscribe like the video comment in the comment section you guys until next time peace